Today, I'm going to show you how to install Logitech Media Server onto your Home Assistant server. Logitech Media Server, also known as LMS. It's an oldies, but goodies. So suppose this is your house. You have six rooms, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you were to load them up with Sonos here, 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 and all the other rest, that'll add up quickly because each Sonos is at least $200, the good one that is. With LMS, you can install this on any devices and it'll let you synchronize between room one, two, three, and have room five, six playing different songs, or each room play totally different songs independent of any other rooms. And of course, you can have the whole house playing the one single song. That's pretty sweet. The beauty of LMS is that it can be installed on mobile devices such as phones, tablets, of course, even Raspberry Pi, if you can get your hands on one of those. Now, even though LMS is an oldies, it can still talk to newer devices such as Sonos, and you'll see later on in a moment. Even if you have the money to buy Sonos in every room in your house, there's some certain limitation of Sonos. For instance, it really, really wants the internet to work. Services like Spotify, Tidal, or whatever. I honestly prefer LMS because it's all local. And of course, you can still do those cloud services. But in my case, I much, much prefer everything being local. That means all of the files, the music, are stored in my house and not go anywhere else. And because LMS is all local, it works perfectly fine without the internet. There are various ways to install LMS, but in my case, I'm going to install it on Home Assistant. Home Assistant is a server that lets me control the cameras, the lights, let me know when the doors are closed or open, even an alarm system. If you already have Home Assistant, go ahead and click on Settings. Add-ons, add-on store, on the upper right hand corner, click on the three dots, click on repositories, go ahead and add this repository in, github.com pssc slash ha dash add-on dash lms. Go ahead and paste it in if you don't have it already and click on add, click on close. When you're back on this page, go ahead and hold down control and hit F5. This will force the browser to refresh everything. Scroll down all the way on the bottom and you should see this Logitech Media Server add-on for Home Assistant. Click on Install. After it installed, go ahead and check these boxes on, on, off. I really don't like auto update because I still want control over updating myself. That is, if you want to see it right here. Protection mode on or off. I'll let you decide on that one. And then click on Start. If it starts and then it suddenly stops, then it means you have to restart your whole Home Assistant machine. If all is good and well, you should see LMS on the left-hand side. When I first started with LMS, I have a bunch of MP3 files loaded onto a USB drive. So if you're like me, go ahead and stick that USB flash drive onto the back of your HA machine. Go to Settings. In the Media folder, go ahead and click on Browse. I know for sure that my MP3 files are located here in the USB flash drive. If, for whatever reason, your Home Assistant does not load up, boot up, mount your USB drive, I have some link in the description below to show you how to mount it. For me, it was extremely tricky because I have Home Assistant OS installed on a thin client. And because of that, I'm going to have a link down in the YouTube section below for you to follow along with another YouTube guy. So assuming that your USB flash drive is mounted and all good, you should see something like this. MP3 is the name of the USB flash drive, and here are some of my folders for MP3s. After you input the location of the MP3 files, go ahead and click on Apply. It should ask you if you want to rescan. Rescan means that it's going to load up everything from the USB drive into LMS. Click on Close. Next, if you already have Sonos in your house, then go ahead and click on Settings. Click on Plugins. Find this AirPlay Bridge plugin. Go ahead and put a check mark on it. It should be somewhere in the middle of the page, somewhere around here. As soon as you check box on it, then it's going to automatically add it in. It might tell you to restart, and that's okay. Go ahead and restart. So here are all the plugins that's already installed. I have my AirPlay Bridge plugin installed already to talk to the Sonos. Click on Close when you're done. Here you can see some of the AirPlay devices that's already in the house, such as the Sonos and even the TVs. So we're going to choose the Sonos now and then choose the uh, playlist or folders. I only have one folder in the USB flash drive right now, so it's just Korean songs. And then click on play. As soon as you click on play, it's going to play everything in that folder to the Sonos. 
You can randomize it, you can repeat it, you can skip the song, you can adjust the volume of the Sonos. Pretty slick, right? Now, I know most of you don't sit around the house on a computer all day to control music. If you want to control the music on your Android phones or tablet, this is the app, Orange Suisse. It's about $5. I think it's totally worth it. This has the same exact interface as you saw earlier in LMS. It lets you control the devices as well as the songs that's being played. And the best part about this is that it lets you synchronize rooms. One room, two room, three rooms, whatever. And obviously this works on a tablet as well. Now, to actually have your mobile devices as the player, you have to install this Swiss player. This costs about $10, but I think it's totally worth it. I have multiple devices that's mounted on the walls. Phones, tablets, even in the kitchen. These devices are invaluable for me to control everything in the house. I have these devices connected to my amplifiers. They can easily play YouTube or even this, which is the LMS player. With this Swiss Play app, this will let your mobile devices act as a player, a Sonos, if you will, a cheap Sonos. Now, when you open Orange Swiss with Swiss Player, then your phone instantly becomes a Sonos. It is pretty wild. So even though you probably never heard of LMS before, you should know there's plenty of diehard fans out there, including myself. Right, hopefully this video helps you on how to create your own multi-room audio system. I think I went over this video really quick about LMS, but if you guys need additional help, just let me know in the comment section below which part you want me to elaborate further. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.